I'm in an empty apartment. Yes, we had to move from where we live, unfortunately, but for good reason. So yes, um, over the past week, we've had to move our things in bits out of this apartment because when we were paying our rent last year, which is in dollars, it was fairly affordable for how much we were paying. Decent two bedroom, it's quite spacious, has a lot of things already fixed, so it's semi-furnished. It's beautiful, we loved it here. But when we converted due to the city depreciation, we figured, no, this might not be it for us in the long term. We're having a baby soon and we can't afford to be paying this much in this apartment and still have only two bedrooms. So we decided to move to a bigger place. So in this video, we're going to show you how the packing and the moving went and how the new place kind of looks like at the moment, maybe 90% unpacked. So what we did since we were moving to a place nearby in the same neighborhood was to move in bits, starting with our non-essentials. We essentially did a number of mini trips to reduce our weight before the main day. Next came my studio and office since I wasn't really having any voiceover work uh, backlog and I had to go. So this is what I got after clearing out my studio. Stands, old gimbals, my screen for editing, boxes on boxes on, <laughs> oh my God. And it's not even finished. There's a desk, there's this, there's all these things to clear out of here. So the acoustic panels were installed on the Thursday before our main moving day on Saturday. In this new house, which is a three bedroom, I get to have a dedicated space to work from. This is the sound before the room is treated. Even for my boys, you can tell the reverb and how large the room sounds. If I clap my hands, that's what we get. Now, let's see it. This is the sound after the room has been treated. With the high ends, there are no reverbs, and then the low ends do sound very well for my voice as well. And now, a quick interlude as Nala enjoys the first time on her new compound. Ah. Alright guys, so today is the actual main moving day. I just got back from the new place. Um, I just installed the washing machine, which I forgot to film, but I haven't forgetting to film any of these. So as you can see, everything is in shambles around here. That's my kids is taking care of the kitchen. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I cleared out all my studio panels um, two days ago. So it's just there for my desk and my chair and a few things. So we're getting the work done here as well. Stuff on the bed. We're getting there. Yeah, almost there. So we're getting help this coming in. Almost empty. Yeah. 
and then this one is empty, just left with the manuals for the ACs, which they need to keep. And then I'm um, gonna take out the clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, and Nala is also lifting stuff, helping out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So that's what it's gonna be for today. We're getting the help coming in in an hour to help us lift the heavy stuff. But we're doing all the packing, hopefully, so that when they come, it's just lift, 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 drop, 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 and bounce. Yep. So we'll catch you in a new place. It's gonna be a long day. What are you doing? Bundling the bed. My favorite part of moving. <laughs> How come? I'm kidding, I don't like it. Are you doing well? Yeah, it's an IKEA bed. If you dismantled it at least twice in your life, every other time it comes way easier. Also, this is We were so overwhelmed with work when our friends came to help that we forgot to film anything with the actual moving. However, this is how it all looked with the house empty. Over at our new place, we're still settling in slowly and this is how my office looks now. Thank you for watching and supporting and catch you in a new one. Wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. Enjoy.